spoken out about the double standard created by the media between women who raise money and then the women uh, business owners who don't. And so elaborate on this a little bit. And what do you think needs to change? Yeah, it, I, I hate saying it. it drives me a little bit of crazy. Uh, there are more than 1,800 new businesses started by women per day. And that was pre-COVID. But I doubt that's going to go down because you have so many women that are looking for flexibility. That is provided when you're an entrepreneur. Um, more than 70% of women-owned businesses sell, fund, or bootstrap. So when the media chooses to really cover only those that raise, that's a success measure, right? What about the thousands upon thousands that haven't done that? And so what we're really trying to do is make sure we're telling all stories, right? Not just those of those who raise. We need those stories too, and we look and help and support those that are trying to raise. But there are Again, thousands of businesses that are successful when they self-fund. Luminary is a great example. We didn't take any investor money. We're self, completely self-funded. You have women that are crowdfunding, women that are getting bank loans. We need more access to those as well. But let's look at it holistically and talk about women-owned businesses in a very different way and not say one is successful versus the other. I think that defeats the whole entire purpose of propping and pushing women up as we are trying to build empires. I